Kajaraho is a city near Shatarpur in Shatarpur district of the Indian state of Madhya Pradesh. One of the most popular tourist destinations in India, Kajaraho has the country's largest group of medieval Hindu and Jain temples, famous for their erotic sculptures. The Kajaraho group of monuments has been listed as a UNESCO World Heritage Site since 1986 and is considered one of the Seven Wonders of India. Namaste. Vamana Temple was constructed between 1050 AD and 1075 AD. This temple has an entrance, Mandapa, Antarala and Garbhagriha. There are sculptures of gods and goddesses, nymphs and musicians over the external walls of the temple. The deity here is Vamana, one of the incarnations of Lord Vishnu. Vamana Temple is a Hindu temple dedicated to Vamana, an avatar of the god Vishnu. It forms part of the Kajaraho Group of Monuments, a UNESCO World Heritage Site listed because of its exceptional architecture, art, and testimony to the Chandala dynasty. Brahma Temple is a 9th or early 10th century temple and is located at Shatarpur in Madhya Pradesh. Although titled after the Hindu god Brahma, the temple is dedicated to Shiva. This temple, along with many others built during the Chandala dynasty. Brahma Temple is located on the banks of Kajaraho Sagar Lake. It is incorrectly called Brahma Temple, the Garbhagriha, sanctum, of the temple contains a four-faced lingam, the symbol of Shiva, and local worshippers mistook this for a sculpture of Brahma, who has four faces. The western windows and the central positions of the lintels of the Garbhagriha contain figures of Vishnu. The design of the temple is simple, like the Laogwan Mahadev temple. At present, the sanctum of Brahma temple is only preserved. The deity inside the sanctum is a four-faced lingam, which local worshippers had mistaken as four-faced Brahma and called a Brahma temple. The temple is made of granite, apart from the Shukara, which is made of sandstone. Externally, the Garbhagriha is cruciform in shape and contains projections on each side. Internally, it is square and rests on twelve granite pilasters. Javari Temple is another old temple constructed in the early 11th century and grouped as the eastern group of temples in Kajaraho. It has an entrance porch followed by Arda Mandapa, which leads to the Mandapa and the Sanctum. The entrance porch has a beautiful Makara Toran. The entrance of the Sanctum has Navagraha sculptures with Brahma, Vishnu and Shiva sculptures. The deity of the temple is Headless Vishnu.
The art and sculptures on the temple walls, pillars, and ceilings represent many figures and scenes from life. Outside the temple, the scenes depict everyday life, moments from the war, mythical stories and erotic imagery. The figures are of gods and goddesses and their different forms, apsaras, animals and humans. Daily scenes like women putting on makeup, musicians making music, farmers and potters busy in their work, mothers with children, nursing mothers, couples in the forest and many other moments are depicted as carvings on the walls. The twisting, broad-hipped, high-breasted nymphs attract attention with their bejeweled and contoured bodies. These apsaras are busy putting on makeup, washing hair, playing games, writing letters and taking out a thorn from the feet. The love-making scenes or the sex postures are the most famous of all the carvings on Kajaraho temples. However, these erotic carvings constitute only 10% of the sculptures still intact on the temple walls. The boldness, the curves, the postures, the expressions and the actions in each of these erotic carving makes them unique. Some scholars suggest that these are tantric sexual postures. Other scholars suggest that the erotic arts are part of the Hindu tradition of treating karma as essential to human life. You can also interpret them as a part of sex education in medieval India. Oi!